Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to highlight which is the better AI stock to buy. Is it Palantir stock or is it the stock with AI in its name, C3.AI? I'm going to compare these two companies and answer which one is the best stock to buy by the end of this video. You're not going to want to miss out, so stay tuned. Let's get started. Starting with Palantir's latest quarterly results. Revenue increased by 18% for Palantir. Meanwhile, earnings per share improved to one penny. That was from a loss per share of five cents in the same time last year. But as I've been cautioning my viewers, the bulk of Palantir's improvement in profitability came because of its cash balance. What do I mean by that? Well, interest rates have risen significantly so palantir was able to use its nearly three billion dollars in cash to earn much higher interest income 20.85 million in interest income in its most recent quarter compared to 547,000 the same time last year and then if you look at its total net income it was only 16.8 million in the first quarter so more then 100% of its net income was driven by interest income for Palantir. So that's just something to keep an eye out for. Although management does expect profitability on the bottom line for every quarter in 2023, it will be interesting to see if Palantir can sustain this level of profitability when interest rates moderate, if interest rates move lower. So keep an eye out on that. C3AI, meanwhile, saw its revenue increase only slightly to $56.9 million, up from $56.3 million in the same quarter last year. Its net loss worsened to $65 million from $58 million. The company did earn $8.2 million in interest income, 10 times more than last year, similar to Palantir, right? It's taking advantage of higher interest rates. And in the most recent quarter, the company released its highly anticipated generative AI solution for enterprises. It's now piloting this product with enterprises, and it's going to start to see benefits of that in about two quarters. In about two quarters, C3 AI will start to see benefits from this new AI product. It's launching in the market as we speak. It's in implementation right now. What about if we look at cash flow from operations for the last three years? How does this look? Well, Palantir has done a good job increasing its cash flow from operations from a negative 80 million up to 187 million. C3AI had a huge jump in the most recent quarter. It was negative for the longest time. It jumped to 27 million. So it performed very nicely. Again, be cautioned with this growth because of the rising interest income. Now let's move on to valuation. And I chose to use the forward price to sales ratio to compare these two stocks. And what do you know? They're trading at very similar valuations. Forward price to sales, both of them at 11 with C3AI at 11.55 with Palantir at 11.35. So Palantir is actually cheaper than C3AI when measuring by the forward price to sales. So looking at these two and looking at the valuation, if I had to pick one of these AI stocks to buy today, I would pick Palantir. I would pick Palantir. The company's much further along in terms of uh, generating profitability, generating cash flow from operations. And I feel stronger about Palantir's competitive advantages than I do about C3 AI. So it is C3AI is exciting with its new product going into the market. That could be a huge catalyst. But for now, if I had to pick today, I would pick Palantir stock today. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.